Hey guys, what's up? So today we are on one of Mason's new 2024 ICCEs. So they just got seven in, um, and they will be getting more, or they should be getting more towards the end of the year. They had a wheelchair bus that they, I don't know the exact uh, situation, but from what I heard, it I thought it was going to come in with these. And then uh, I found out today that it'll be coming in in December, and that should be their new bus 19. Uh, but anyways, this is one of Mason's new buses. This is the new 36. Um, they're all 72 passengers. They were all built on the 15th, 16th of February, and then one of them was actually built on the 2nd of March. So these buses have brown seats, window tint, white roof, the correct number of emergency exit windows for a 72 passenger. Um, Let's see what else. Yellow door frames, my biggest. I love that. I, I I'm telling you, these buses are probably I like them more than ours. Um, but ours were stock units, so you can't really say much there. Um, anyways, interior is pretty much the same. It does not have the little storage compartments like I ours do. I also noticed that this driver dome light was one of the small ones and not a bigger one, um, like ours have. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just the inside of the bus. There's the switch panel, gauge cluster, um, step well. We'll go outside real quick. So these buses aren't numbered yet, but they are sitting in their spots. Um, so we got our yellow door frames, which you know me, love that. We got fender mounted signals that are LED. So that's a nice touch. Definitely like that. Um, no visors. And honestly, at the end of the day, I like that because it annoys me when visors get screwed up. So, yeah, uh, there's the front of the bus. And this bus is, th these are like ours where you've got incandescent warning lights and LED stop sign. There's the IC logo up there. There's your stop sign. And all seven of these have underbody storage. And uh, these, so these buses actually have little backup lights on the outside panel behind the rear axle uh, and that's a pretty cool feature I don't think any of their other buses have it their C2s might have it like ours but I'm not sure our C2s have it mounted underneath behind the rear axle so uh, that's pretty cool um, there's the emergency exit windows I was talking about and then back here you'll see that it's got the black stop decal which will soon be removed for a new stop decal um, and then I wanted to point out this ID tag. So all but one of these have this ID tag style like this where it's kind of different. And you can see it's got some kind of part number there. Um, I assume that's what that is. But anyways, it's just a little bit different than older ID tags. Um, I don't know if this is a new thing or it's just what they had. So, I don't know. I think that's interesting. Um, so you can see that on there. LED lights on the back for the turn brake and reverse light are a little bit different than what ours have but uh, these look to be the same there's your backup light 100 gallon tank and then your underbody storage I kind of wish some of ours had underbody storage two emergency exits like we talked about there's your turn signal CE emblem and like I said they're not numbered yet but um, I plan to come back when they are so um, I also got a uh, startup and a little light show and child check deactivation so that'll be attached onto the end of this and I also forgot to mention that they do have three or six integrated car seats so that's also another feature they have uh, so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think and yeah
Okay. You can do this whenever you're ready.